What's going on everybody? It's Chip Walton. I'm here in lovely Northern Brewer World Headquarters and I have Oktoberfest on the mind. The beer, the brewing, the festive events, just all of it. And I'm excited to share that love with you in the form of a beer recipe kit giveaway. So what I'm about to do is a quick run through of a recent double brew day here at the Brew Cave at Northern Brewer on the Oktoberfest, both extract and all grain versions talk about the steps and processes for both and then stick around at the end i'll let you know how you could enter to potentially win your own october fest beer recipe kit let's go as you might remember last week we heard from summit brewing company head brewer mike lundell and we got his thoughts on all things Oktoberfest in our pints with pros video between that conversation and enjoying a bunch of local versions of Oktoberfest that have hit the shelves in Minnesota over the last month, we were itching to brew our own Oktoberfest here at Northern Brewer. We also have an annual Oktoberfest staff party each October here at HQ, so that was all the more reason for us to get into the brew cave and get some beer into fermenters. Before we begin, full credit to my coworker William Richards for brewing these two beers, because y'all know. I just stand around with the camera looking good. <laughs> For the all grain batch, we decided we wanted to use the Grainfather G30. As you can see, the all grain instructions come with the option of performing a traditional step mash or a single infusion mash. Either method will work, but since the G30 makes the step mash function very easy, we decide to run with it that way. I won't go deep into it here, but if you want to learn more about the process of step mashing and its effect on your homebrew, check out our Northern Brewer University Advanced All Grain Video course on the topic. I'll link to the course and the trailer video in the video description below. Using his handy dandy Grainfather app, William plugged in the steps for the temperature increase and rest times of the step mash. The G30 basically takes over and takes care of the rest at that point. He admittedly fat fingered entering the first step, which should be at 122 degrees Fahrenheit for the protein rest. We actually ended up doing it around 125, not a huge deal that's still in the range. This first protein rest is for 20 minutes. That temp is then bumped up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit for a beta sacrification rest of about 30 minutes. After that, another increase to 158 degrees Fahrenheit for a 30 minute alpha sack rest. Then finally, heated up to a mash out temp of 170, held that for 10 minutes before we drained and sparged this mash. What was most interesting about the step mash was how the texture and color of the wort changed with each step. You can see the progression here illustrated in this photo. To the left, there's a sample of the wort from the first mash step, the protein rest, in the mid 120s. It's starting out very light colored and very cloudy, very milky. The middle sample was pulled after the beta sac rest and you can see it has become much clearer, much darker as well, closer to that classic Martzen style Oktoberfest color, thanks in part to the Munich and the dark Munich and the care Munich malts that are included in this grist. The final sample on the right was pulled right after mash out and before draining and sparging. Here you can see it's even more clear, even more rich color, that classic Oktoberfest mahogany glow. While the step mash was happening on the all grain side, we had a batch of extract Oktoberfest going in a mega pot on a dark star burner off to the side. We steeped the specialty grains for a bit, then we removed them and brought the full volume to a boil. Of course, accounting for the late addition of extract syrup yet to come. This recipe calls for just two pounds of Pilsner dry malt extract to be added before the start of boil. The larger amount of liquid malt extract goes in at the end of the boil process. Both the all grain and extract batches are hit with just one addition of hops, one ounce of German tradition at 60 minutes, and that's it. As just mentioned, the extract batch does get the six pound jug of amber malt syrup towards the end of boil. Our instructions call for it about 15 minutes before end of boil. We decided to just add it at flame out as that wort is still more than hot enough to dissolve and sterilize it. This late addition of extract keeps the beer from getting overly caramelized and dark by that denser syrup not boiling the full time of the 60 minutes, but still getting the fermentables into the beer at the end of the brew. 
In the end, we yielded two five gallon batches of each the all grain and extract wort. As we are treating these as normal loggers, we chilled them as best we could with our summertime groundwater, which only got it to about 70 degrees. Then we tossed them in a 55 degree upright fridge to bring the temperature down to yeast pitching temp. We pitched the yeast the following day, and we now have two batches of Oktoberfest bubbling away happily ahead of our own staff Oktoberfest party in about five or six weeks. And now we're happy to share that same joy of brewing with you. We wanna give away six beer recipe kits of our Oktoberfest, your choice, extract or all grain. It'll come with yeast, it'll come with a can of fast prime and fast pitch to make both making a yeast starter and priming your finished beer that much easier. All you gotta do in the comments below, leave a comment about your favorite pro breweries Oktoberfest, whether it's international, whether it's your local down the street, who's making the Oktoberfest or the fest beer that you cannot live without. Leave that comment below. On Friday, September 8th, we will randomly select six winners. We will let you know by replying to your comment that you have won and how to get in touch with us. We've learned the hard way in past giveaways. Do not believe any response from an account that is not our official Northern Brewer TV, capital N, capital B, capital TV, no spaces, no hyphens, no additional characters. Do not fall for it. Only believe Northern Brewer TV telling you that you've won and we will be happy to get a beer kit out to you in just enough time for the Oktoberfest celebrations. Good luck, prost, happy Oktoberfest. Final. <laughs>